Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Realms. And today, the, uh, as you saw in the last episode, if not, I'll put it up in the iCard. I died down in the mines and lost all my stuff. And I'm really, really mad. Which means now, I'm gonna have to go on a mining expedition. Yay! Yay! Um, make an axe. What's the other tool I kind of need? I'm gonna make one of these just to throw in the chest up here. Bam, bam. Um, I'm like speed crafting everything that I need. Uh, let's just go like that and then go like that. Um, so, today I need to go and get back all of that iron that I lost. Light that place up a lot better than I did. But I looked at the footage, saw what I lost, and basically the, the worst thing I lost was an emerald. Like, that sounds like kind of a lot, but it's really not. Like, emeralds are an infinite resource. There's, there's places where you can get an infinitely expanding amount of them. I don't 100% care. I more care about that three stacks of iron than that stack of gold. Like, that would have made a huge difference in what I could do. I could have had an anvil up. So, if I didn't take random fall damage, I don't know why. I didn't even grab any food. Let's go get some food. I should still have a ton of baked potatoes. If I don't, I'll just harvest them all real quick. Actually, let me throw this axe down there. Axe, go. Thank you. Come on, food. Food. I swear there's probably food in here that I'm not looking at. Food. 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 Okay, there's no food in there at all. Which means, while all this food is cooking, I'm actually going to have to delay my mining trip. Because though, I shouldn't have to, because it's just going without food. I know the dangers of going down there without food. I've almost died so many times down there, and food has been the thing that's kept me from fully dying. Like, I was able to fully restore all my health. Oh, look at that. That, that row is finally complete. So now I'm just going to have to start gathering up potatoes. Which means today's episode's focus is going to completely change from what I thought it was going to be. Unless I really have that much wheat. So, more than likely, the new focus of today is going to be more work on the casino. You know that thing that I started building, I don't know, like, probably, did I even start building it on an episode? Yeah, I think I did start recording that on an episode. I didn't hollow out the land, but I did most of the... Oh no, did I not get those seeds? I did get those seeds. I started work on my casino, which is a little area, I call it little, it's not little, but it's an area over on the side of my base that is going to be used to let me collect resources I need in the future because instead of being like a normal casino, I'm not going to charge you, you know, like gold or anything. I'm going to be charging you something that every person, cough, cough, SF and Kyle, can easily afford. Do I really not have any? Oh, I'm going to have to go cut down some wood, too. Seriously? Great. I'm telling you, this entire, entire thing is just a famine. Let's just throw those in there. Okay. Let's go cut down a tree. I swear, instead of doing what I actually want to do, 
I'm basically now just having to do all these little chores that I usually would do any other time, but I decided, nah, I'll just go right into another episode after I got really mad that I lost the stuff. But the problem is you get five minutes, and by the time the video had ended, like that second or third death that I had was already five minutes in. Like it was already too late. It's sad, but... What can I really do? I didn't lose all that important. I'll just mine again. Get it all back. It just kind of sucks that I have to go do that now. I'm going to take a ton of stuff and I'm just going to have to go get some more. So I'm going to need more cobblestone because after this episode, if I actually do get to working on the casino, I'm going to be out of cobblestone again. Stone, stone brick because that's whenever I go out and I try to build something I have to be super set up with resources because the second I, I set out to work on said thing I run out of resources so I have like a, a chest not a chest but like a, a half chest full of um, whatever whatever stone brick which is going to be what I charge up my casino. You're going to you're going to get oh, that was top snow. Um at my casino you need credits to play. A credit is one stone brick. So it's it's a pretty easy thing to get. You give me a stone brick, I give you a credit. And all the games are going to be based off of giving you back more credits than you put in. But I'm going to give Instead of giving back stone brick, I'm going to give better items back. Because I have stuff like iron and diamonds, which I store in a chest that I'm not going to tell you where it is. Because, you know, SF and Kyle, they, they I know they don't watch all the videos on this channel. Neither do I. I watch most of them, but not all of them. And I swear, there's there's gotta be some in here um if i were to show off where something was like i'm fine doing it when i know the realm is about to end because then it it doesn't matter if they know exactly where it is when the realm's about to end because you know it could have already moved and they'd have no clue but when it's you know three weeks till the end of the realm, and this video will come up in a week, like, I can't show you what's in it, I can't let them 100% know what I, I fully have in terms of resources, because I constantly have more than them, I'm yawning, I'm always tired, um, I have more than them, that's a national park, just, you know, don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. Because we did national parks this, this season. Like, it's areas of land that can be not touched by anyone. For reasons that I can decide whenever I want. That's Lighthouse Island. I'm going to build a lighthouse on it eventually. That's after the casino. But before the giant rocket ship. No, I'm not going to build a giant rocket ship. I just wanted to, I just wanted to take that pause right there to see if SF watches these videos randomly, and then c comes up to me later and says, you were going to build a giant rocket ship? And he'd be like, yes. Yes, I was. Because he'd probably hear that, and then he'd be like, what? And then he'd rush over to come ask me about it, instead of listening. Um, but yeah, what am I doing? I'm going over to my casino, which is... Well, okay. So first off, if it wasn't obviously clear, if I didn't say it in the last video, I sold a plot of land to SF. I've now sold him two plots of land. This is where I'm getting all these stone bricks from. Um, he sells me cobblestone. I give him land. And what he's been doing... Well, other than making a mob hazard, apparently, is... Well, first off, he made a tunnel in between them. I told him to close it up or he has to pay me. Um, but he took all the sand out of here. 
and he's using the sand for something. I don't remember what he said. That it made two larger, larger plots of land, and these two plots of land, he will more than likely buy those two. So basically, he'll have like a, a massive area inside of my territory that he owns. And you may think, oh, why would you give SF that much power? He's just going to, I don't know, build a nuclear warhead, which he probably will, inside of your territory. And I say, because if he wants to buy the land, I want the resources. Because he doesn't find stuff like dirt and cobble useful. And I'm sitting here making massive, like stone brick structures and using dirt for casino games you'll see I'll spend an entire episode <laughs> focused on just like the creation of games like I don't know today I'll get that done and I'll start the little outline for the fountain maybe build some of the fountain today but, um, when I start getting booths open, I'll have a ton of casino games. <laughs> like, you'll walk directly forward, and you'll walk, like, across... It's like, um, a midway sort of thing. I keep calling it a casino, because that was the original idea. But it's like, um, midway games, where it's like, um, knock down the bottle or whatever. It's games that, like, aren't... Are like tiny little games that there's like a guy behind the booth. <laughs> Why do I keep yawning? There's like a guy behind the booth, and he says, like I'll put on like a sign and it'll say like, just do this for your chance to win. It'll be like um. So there's a game that Hollis showed me that he has at his casino in Minecraft, and what it is is um three patches of grass and what you do is you put a piece of bone meal and for however many flowers grows that's how much your winnings are multiplied by so you know it's one of those use minecraft's um own physics to help you which it's possible i've i've tested that game very thoroughly it's possible to get all three flowers but the majority of the time um, you'll only get one or two, which, that may sound low, but one gives you everything back you bet, two gives you double whatever you got, and you can bet as much as you want, so say you bet, I don't know, like a thousand credits or something, like, you're low on credits and you're like, I'm just gonna spend a thousand right here on a game that has helped me in the past, I don't know, I'll find a better example, <laughs> But it'll be a game, and you'll be like, oh, I can win this game, so you'll spend, like, all your credits on it, and you'll get, like, times two, and then you'll have literally just doubled your, your total credits in the server. Like, it'll be kind of nice. I'm glad that I thought of the midway idea. Well, I'm glad that just by talking to you people, I thought of calling this a midway. Like, that's kind of nice to think of it that way now. Also, I may or may not start soon domestica domesticating rabbits. Because I know you can kind of do that. And I could be using the rabbit's foots for leaping. Because I may or may not make a... Um, I'm trying to think of how to make it sound not bad. Hmm... It's like a um, concessions stand where um, I sell I sell potions of like healing and regeneration and like good potions because I can use those carnival prizes because Kyle will Kyle likes poison potions as I brought up in the last video. Which, I'm going to have to make a trip to the, a long trip to the nether soon. That might be a fun episode. Me just 
kicking back in the nether for a few hours. <laughs> Hoping nothing bad goes wrong. And I'm noticing that I've already gone through a lot of stone bricks. And this facility is going to be tallish. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to run out of stuff in here. Yay. <laughs> Yay for multi-episode building projects that no one else is going to do until they see the the marvel of this and they start paying me stone bricks. I should do that. I should basically just say like I don't know. Like you could start with like five credits and win like anything in here. So you could start with just giving me five stone bricks and you know winning a lot out of that. Or buying them in really small increments, like 64 at a time, like give me a stack of stone bricks or a stack of cobble. I don't care, either one is worth the same amount. Um, and I'll give you all those credits and you can use them. It'll kind of be nice. I could use it to make some future money. I'm like yawning far too much for this, this, like doing of anything. So you'll walk through these doors and there'll be a fountain in the middle. So this is just 40 by 40, so I just need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Which that should be 20 in from the edge. So Oh, uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Now I have to recount this because I have to count the block I was standing on. One, two, three, four, five, six. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I did count that like that. So, this is the dead center. Because it's... Yeah, this is the dead center. Why? Because when that counts back 20, that'd be that block. It'd be 20 from there still. And then on this side, it'd be 20 from that block. Would be that one, 20 from that, 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 that. So, this is the fountain. How I'm going to build this fountain is going to be, I don't know, like, hmm. it's not an odd number, so it's like, when I'm making this, I have to make this, oh, what if I, I don't know, yeah, let's make it like this. Kind of like this, and then maybe like, did I bring my stairs with me? Oh, maybe I could do it like that. Maybe I could do it with stairs along the edge. I don't know how to make this look nice, but it'll be like you walk in. And you see, like, the fountain, and then behind the fountain will be the little, like, trade-in stand. And you'll trade in whatever you have. Gosh, I gotta stop yawning. I gotta, like, I don't even know. But, um, you'll go and you'll trade in all your stone bricks, and the stone bricks will go into, like, an ender chest or something, which I can just pull out at home after a day's work. Which I have to go get those, too. Like, I need to make... Literally, none of us have found the fortress, but that's because none of us go into the nether that all that often. So, no one truly knows where the fortress is. Which is, uh... Good and bad. It's good because that means... Whoever finds it... Basically can loot all the chests before telling anyone else of its existence. But it's also bad, 
because no one knows of its existence. It could be, you know, thousands of blocks away, like, you know, every other darn thing in this world. Or it could be, like, right outside of one of our portals and we just haven't noticed it yet. And that's the problem. <laughs> Gosh, I, it sounds like I'm really tired, but it's like one o'clock for me. Like, I have done, like, not much today. Like, I've, I've watched some, some TV, and I've um, uploaded, a, like, a few videos. But other than that, I haven't done anything today. Like, I shouldn't be this tired. Okay, that, that looks like exactly how I want it to, because you could, like, step up here and, like... Oh, eventually I'll do that. I'll put, um, hoppers down here. And it'll be... I'll put a sign up on every side that says, Wishing Well. And you'll, like, come up here and throw him, like, an iron nugget or something. I'll tell him that, too. I'll be like, throw an iron nugget in the well and see what happens. And he'll be like, what happened? And he'll be like, I took your money! <laughs> Because that's what, that's literally all that these types of wells do. They literally just take your money. Like, they want to tell you, oh, you're doing good by putting money in the well. You're not. Like, really, tell yourself one time that, like, a wish from the wishing well that was, like, you know, not one of those obvious wishes that, like, you knew were going to come true no matter what. It's one of those, like, really rare things. Like, I get that it happens, but I know it's not common. Like, it's not common enough to say, oh, every wishing well grants your wish. No. It's, like, one of those... Is that serious? Is this water physics seriously going to be like that to me? Is this just because I dished, dished the wish... The wish... The, 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 the. Is this... Just because I dissed the wishing well, that now it's not going to use its magic and actually put the water out for me and I'm actually going to have to do work. I don't know. I could probably make this well look better. It's, it's called how YouTube works, is YouTube and Google Images. Nope, 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 nope. That was a mistake. Oh, now that water's not going to work. Yeah, I have to do it on the other side. Oh, no. Okay, now let's take this water out. Did I just put it in the... Oh, great. I swear, this is going to take me forever to do. Okay. Jump. Place it right there. Oh. Double click glitch. No, why have you cursed me? Oh, great. Now it's going to do that again. Okay. Got a so much better idea. Put one right there. Put one right there. Take that one out. Go over here. Put it right there. Let's take this one out. Put that one there. Okay, two more. Do, 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 do. So basically, if I come back and my will looks a lot better, just know that I, I probably looked it up on Google Images. And I'll, if it was by a YouTuber, like if I find it on YouTube, I'll leave a link to their channel in the iCard of the next video. But like if I keep that design, this was just me doing the random stuff with the stairs. <coughs> Like, I bet that this design comes up all the time. There's, there's nothing I could do. Ooh, wait, what if I do, um, okay, I just thought of something that might look, make it look a bit nicer.
There we go. Good enough. It's certified good enough fountain. I'm totally going to change this, just so you know. I'm going to get more buckets, too. But like I said, there's going to be, like, a shop, and there's going to be, like, the huge thing, and it's going to be, like, a it'll be like a concession stand, and it'll be, like, all these signs that say, like, food and drinks. Ow. Why well, you got to interrupt me? And there'll be, like, I don't know, like, a, a prize counter. I don't know. But, that's the end of today's episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. I need to get back to my house before I can stop the recording, because... Stuff like that. Like, I don't want to die again. Who knows if I record again today. You will, kind of. If you see a, a video that, that looks like... I don't know. Nothing good has gotten done. Or I, I say, oh, it has. There's been no time. There's been no time passed like I did for this one. Now I'll probably go on a mining trip today. Maybe I'll do that later. Blast protection, too. Nifty. And goodbye.